Okay, so now we've learned some basic redstone circuits. Let's uh, try to put them uh, in uh, action. So I've got two doors here, and this is an example of uh, what you could do with I what uh, you just learned today. Let's say I want I've got this switch that opens the door and closes the door, like we saw before. Let's say I want this door to close when this one opens, and this one to open when this door closes. That would mean that this door is receiving the opposite of the input of this door. Well that's simple to do, we just learned that. That's an inverter. So what we're going to do is split this uh, circuitry in two and you'll notice that you know it splits in two. Uh, is this in an OR gate like we saw before? That is not an OR gate. That is, uh, remember an OR gate connects two inputs into one output. This is just splitting the uh, input into two outputs. So we're going to get the same output on each side. We're going to need to invert this right here with a torch placed like this. There we go. Now this door is open, and when I hit the switch, boom. You see there's a little delay sometimes, not much. You get more and more delay as you add torches, but right now we really don't need to worry about it. Okay, let's try something else. Something different. So, we want this door to be opened by a switch. We want this door to be opened by a switch. So now we got two switches for two doors. Let's say I want this switch to open this door, and this switch to open this door and this door. I'm going to make an OR gate here. You see I'm connecting this to the input here. And I'm going to make it on the circuit because uh, I could do this, and it would work but that defeats the purpose of what I want to show you. <laughs> so, let's connect it to our circuit. The switch is way over there and we don't want to connect or connect it when we can connect it so close. So now, this side works. It opens both doors. And this should only open this door, but it opens both. Why? Because this is an OR gate, but uh, it's also splitting the input into two places and this is an, this is transformed into an OR gate as well. So we want to tell the signal that it can only travel this way and that any attempt to travel this way shouldn't be allowed. How are we going to do this? Well we learned earlier that if uh, you put a redstone torch like that it doesn't emit signal to the block on top of it but it receives signal from the block on top of it. Likewise it emits uh, signal from this side, but uh, receiving signal doesn't do anything. So we're going to use that uh, to uh, do what we want here, and what we're going to use is a repeater. So let's put down a repeater and see if that works. are compact repeater, see? Now both switches are off. When this switch turns on, it emits power to the repeater, opening both doors. When this switch turns on, it hits the redstone torch here, and as you can see, it does not turn it on. It doesn't do anything to it. Even if it did, this torch would not emit here. So this is foolproof. Perfect. So there you have it. That's all I'm going to do today.